Hey guys, a welcome to your general reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your January 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look and see what lessons you guys need to learn. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, advice, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also, a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, twisted, flipped, or reversed. This reading is more so for the Aquarians that are currently in the path of healing personal growth and spiritual growth but if you want to do that you can feel free to do so okay all right Aquarius what lessons does Aquarius need to know or need to learn for January 2023 what lessons does Aquarius need to learn for January 2023 for Aquarius Nine of Cups, Six of Wands. You know, one of the lessons that you need to learn is to really live life in the moment. Yeah, enjoy your, you know, celebrate, enjoy your successes, you know, enjoy your happiness here, okay? Uh, there could be an energy of like sort of second guessing that, you know, whether, whether you deserve it or not. Let's see what else we have here. Three of Swords. Page of Swords here. It's also important if someone here does you wrong, you know, even though it's really, really, really tough, sometimes in these situations, these individuals are not gonna give you the closure that you're looking for. And it's really important to find that on your own. Yeah. There's a there's a sense of like letting go to you, you know, letting it go un until like you get the answers from this person, you know, it's sort of like let it let's say if this person, you know, moves away, you know, or this person unexpectedly crosses over and passes like what's going to happen then, you know, it's kind of like, are you going to just hold on and never let it go? And, you know, because, you know, in a way that's going to block you from your happiness here, right? So let's see what else we have here. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, and the Three of Cups. This is interesting. Aquarius. There's a fear of experiencing joy. There's a fear of experiencing happiness here. And one of the things, one of the reasons why is because you're scared to get hurt. You know, in life, you know, it can't always just be consistently happy, luck, go lucky all the time, things are great. You know, in life we go through these expansions, where, which is, you know, things are going great. And then there are times we go through these contractions. And when we go through these contractions, this is our opportunity, you know, for, you know, healing, you know, personal growth and spiritual growth here and evolution. So when you don't allow yourself to, you know, to go through the, these processes, you're hindering yourself here. Nine of Cups. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, Six of Wands, and the Lovers here. I mean, you definitely can overcome this. You know, this is all about having a relationship with yourself here, you know? And really loving yourself, even if you go through these really, 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 really tough times, you know? So the lovers here, Gemini energy, chariot, cancer energy, three of swords, the magician, Gemini Virgo, the page of swords here, 
queen of swords i i also feel like there is an energy of like you know sort of like re-injuring yourself let's say you know an ex hurt you here you know you're curious about what's going on with this ex and each time you look at this ex's instagram page or something like that or their facebook page you're you're re-injuring re yourself over and over and over again okay so it's really important to really just I mean, it's easier said than done. Uh, you know, we are, as people, you know, we are curious people, individuals, you know, some more than others really depends on the person though. But, you know, there is an energy of sort of like, there's, a, there's some sort of control here, I feel. Yeah, there's some sort of control here. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, I feel like that Queen of Swords is faced away from the Magician. So there's a sense of n not being able to achieve the happiness that you're looking for here the moon seven of swords three of swords three of pentacles i all i i feel like you have fears of experiencing joy and happiness because there's a pattern of people hurting you here you know we are always going to come across shitty people you know and it's really important to use our intuition and our discernment whether to allow these people to hurt us or not, you know? So, you know, it could be that you're too friendly, you know? Uh, even though, you know, someone's shitty here, you know, it's kind of like you give them the benefit of the doubt and then, you know, you get hurt. What lessons does Aquarius need to learn? Actually, uh, what 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 else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on, advice here when it comes to their lessons for January 2023 for Aquarius? All right, let's see. Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. You're definitely choosing a new direction for yourself. Yeah, you definitely want a new beginning here. You just don't want to be confused anymore. You don't want to be lost in this matrix, you know? So, let's see. Ten of Pentacles. You know, I feel like as soon as you do get out of this matrix, I do feel like you will find a sense of peace. I do feel like abundance will flood in for you. Like I said, this is actually hindering you from actually allowing these things to come into your life. Or to experience these things that you're yearning for or looking for here, uh, Aquarius. All right. Two of Cups here in the star. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that you are building a stronger foundation in relationship with yourself here. I feel like you guys are also building a relationship with the universe here, with the divine here. This is really beautiful. Yeah. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and a Five of Wands here. Five plus one is six. So there is a sense of confidence here. There is a sense of taking stock, taking inventory here. You know, really and really making a change here, uh, Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles here. You know, there's a sense of also getting out of your head. You know, trying not to overthink it and really trying to make this happen here. Because I'm seeing you breaking free from this. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy here. The Two of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Star here, and the Nine of Swords. Some of you guys are some of you guys are uh, working on your mental health here too. Yeah. I do feel like there is a relationship that you're having a hard time letting go of. Perhaps it is romantic here. Uh, you know, I do feel like eventually you will let go of it. It's just hard. It's just hard letting go. You know, uh, some people work through it better than others, you know? Um, it, I mean, really, it, it really depends on the person. But yeah, I mean, there is a sense of, you know, seeking some sort of answers here or enlightenment, okay? Surrendering here, letting go. Okay, um, surrendering to the divine here uh, and just kind of like allowing, trying to allow things to, you know, unfold the way that it should. So Aquarius, I hope that 
uh, this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.